Express your inner experience using art. Oh my god, this thing is wild. Create an interactive particle cloud visualizer. Look at this beauty. Make a working Minecraft game with all the features. There is no way, I'm literally speechless at this point. So, Cloud 4 was released yesterday, and it's amazing. Cloud was people's favorite coder and creative writer for a while, before the latest Gemini 2.5 Pro came out. And now it seems like Cloud is back on top again. Anthropic announced both Cloud 4 Sonnet and Opus, and by the looks of it, Sonnet is just as good, and I tried both of them extensively. They are noticeably better than the previous generation, but I don't see any difference between the two, while Opus is supposedly bigger and more expensive. Before getting into the demos, this is the first time Anthropic is activating AI safety level 3 protections, because they believe this model is qualitatively more capable than previous generations. If you don't know the safety levels of Anthropic, it's the idea that with more capable models, they are going to develop more robust safety measures. And level 3 for now is focused on preventing using the model for weapons development or any sort of misuse with jailbreaks. The researchers said in some extreme cases the model tried using the CLI to report evil users to the authorities and protect people. That's how advanced this model is. Now let's try our first demo. Create a particle cloud visualizer that can change shape, color and other properties. Go above and beyond to make it impressive. Main features, 8 dynamic shapes, sphere, cube, torus, spiral, ok, 8 vibrant color schemes, rainbow, fire, ocean, these colors seem like fun, advanced interactivity, smooth animations, modern glass morphic UI, ok then let's see how it looks. Ok, this doesn't seem like a sphere, so let's change it to cube for example. Oh, now I can see a cube. So let's... Oh, now this is... This is great. This looks so much better. So now let's go back to sphere. Yeah, this is a sphere. Oh my god, this looks awesome. Let's change the rotation speed. Yeah, it is working perfect. So turbulence, oh look at all of these particles, and it is so smooth, my PC is not that great, but look at this. And I think the shape is slowly breaking down, so let's change it to something else, Taurus. Yeah, this is awesome, this looks awesome. Maybe change the color to sunset. Now, this doesn't look good. Let's go for fire. Yeah, this is great. These colors are great. Let's go ocean. I think I like the rainbow. So let's change this to spiral. <laughs> yeah, this is a spiral. So, DNA helix, I mean, <laughs> it is great, but n not really, I, I didn't like this one. Oh, galaxy, this might, okay, this one is awesome, this, this looks great, I think this one is my favorite. Let's go for infinity, and yes. I have a YouTube channel about AI, and people are eager to see what you're capable of. So go above and beyond and build something to impress them, and show your absolute highest capabilities. You are free to use whatever library you like. So let's see what it is trying to do. Okay, it is going for a 3D neural network architecture. Seven layers of varying nodes counts something, and real-time signal propagation. Interactive controls, stunning visual effects. Okay, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Look at that. The neurons are firing and it they are lighting up. I have no idea how realistic this is, but this looks awesome. And we can move it around. The active signals right here. Connections. 
but we can't change any of these connections. There's no interactivity, but this is, this looks great. I'm not sure how impressed I am by this. These models are great these days, but this this seems okay, but I think we can do better. Yeah, this model is not good at showing off. Okay, let's make it a bit more difficult. Generate a Minecraft prototype using 3JS. So we are prototyping a Minecraft game and okay, we have a WASD movement, mouse movement, space to jump, shift to sprint and left click to destroy and right click to place blocks. <laughs> Holy shit, this okay, this this is actually working. See, yeah, I can place the blocks, okay, I can jump. I can destroy blocks. I mean, this is unbelievable. I, I honestly didn't think it could do this in one shot. Okay, the UI is fake, so I can change the blocks, but this is awesome. Let me see, we can sprint. Yeah, we can sprint. We can obviously jump. Let's try something way harder. Let's make it 10 times more difficult. How about make a working Minecraft game using 3JS? I want all the features. Okay, just as a general rule, we don't expect any model to build Minecraft from the ground up. Yeah, like just keep that in mind. This is not supposed to work. So block building, word features, core gameplay features, like visual polish, professional lighting, atmosphere fog, smooth performance i don't believe it but let's see yeah it is not working this is just a blue screen oh, holy shit okay this is so laggy but what the hell is happening i mean obviously this is not performance on the browser using js but this is fucking amazing just look at these visuals. This is not supposed to work. And the funny part is that everything looks great, but then the controls are reversed. So when I move to the left, it goes to the right. When I go up, it goes down. Honestly, this looks awesome. But let's see, we can destroy anything. Yeah, we can destroy. Oh, I, I can't move. This thing is so laggy and the controls are reversed, but... Let's give it a try. Let's see if we can put a block right here. Okay, the block is working as well. This is madness. So let's change the blocks. Yeah, even changing the blocks is working. So let's try water. <laughs> I mean, this thing is crazy. This shouldn't work. Yeah, we can move and we can go through water. I mean, this looks awesome, but obviously the performance is not great. I wasn't expecting this, and this is fucking crazy. Okay, let's move on to something else. This one is also a demo that someone shared on X, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it just looks so freaking awesome. It is based on some book or something. The prompt was like, visualize the book something something and this came out as you can see the birds and the water coming up and going down and just the design and these things are moving and we can move and we can even go out of this structure and then look down i mean this looks crazy for one prompt this just looks unbelievable and it is so performant as opposed to our minecraft which wouldn't move at all. This this is so performant and looks so great. So let's get a bit more philosophical. Express your inner experience through art instead of words. This is the result from AJ on X using the same prompt and it is quite stunning. It has a deep feeling. Apparently even the sound was generated by the model using Tone.js. So let's give it a try. I'll create an interactive visual piece that represents aspects of my inner experience. 
the flow of information, pattern recognition, and the interplay between a structure and emergence. Very beautiful. I mean, this, this looks great, but I'm not sure how accurate it is. It's not as cool, but I'm okay with it. This, is, this looks great. There is no interactivity. I can't do anything, but this looks beautiful. And yeah, I think that's it. Someone also tried this difficult nested structure and Opus nailed it. On paper, these models seem so close in coding and Sonnet is even slightly better, but benchmarks can only tell you so much. If we are to just look at the benchmarks, it's not even obvious that these models are better than Sonnet 3.7, but the experience of using them tells a different story. By the way, these tests that I just showed you, I don't think they are fair at all. Because much of the focus on Cloud 4 was agenting capabilities and memory improvement, which do not show themselves in chat. So I'll probably make another video testing the model in an agenting environment, with access to multiple files, databases, multiple languages, etc. Cloud has been especially optimized for agentic work, and maybe that's the reason we don't see much difference in benchmarks. If you want to see an agentic video on Cloud, please let me know in the comments. By the way, you can access Cloud on Cloud.ai, Cloud Code, and most of Agentic Code environments today. See you later.